So what's up everybody and welcome back to some more five cool mods for Fallout 4. Gonna be pretty brief with the intro of this one. There's not too much to talk about it. These are some mods that I actually overlooked over the past few weeks. They weren't included in any other series, but they're still really high quality mods and great mods that you should really download. So starting things off, we do have Exalt Cybernetics. This is one of those mods that's better explained than seen. There's not too much gameplay to really show about this one. More or less, what it's going to do is add in a bunch of augmentations or implants you can make to your character. These in the form of invisible weightless pieces of armor. And with these, you can actually change your physiological allowance. So more or less, you can make augmentations and improvements to your character without actually having an armor piece that does it. Among some of the options are auto injectors of stim packs, some of the other perks you find for other armors but this time you don't really need to have that armor enabled things that just flat out increase different stats like your perception your agility your strength one thing that's kind of nice about this as far as balance goes is each of the different implants that you can craft on your larger implant armor piece require different perks so like the stim pack auto injector one requires science and two ranks in medic so some of the stronger ones definitely have a bigger barrier to entry than some of the lower tier ones i think this will appeal to two types of users first and foremost maybe you like just using outfit mods and you want to have an alternative so your character itself can be pretty defensive. This is decently well balanced. You again have to craft all these different implants, but at the same time, you can just wear some maybe very revealing or minor armor, or maybe in the other side of things, you just want to be some kind of super soldier and role play that way. All around, it's a pretty cool mod. Again, there's not too much to show in the background here. It's just a great one to kind of dive into and look at some of the different options you do have. So this one I'll be brief with, we have another update to NPCs travel, but this is going to be a pretty massive update to this mod. The functionality is largely the same, but what this latest update is going to bring is a no DLC version of this mod. The reason I'm covering this specifically is I think NPCs travel is probably one of the top five mods for Fallout 4 just across the board. It adds in these little traveling NPCs from different areas along some of the major roads. Some of these are hostile to you. Some of these are little scouting groups from major factions like a Brotherhood or Minutemen scouting group. And again, it's really cool. It just feels very natural. If you're playing on survival, you'll encounter a lot more NPCs this way. Some of them will trade with you. Some of them will attack you. Some of them will be your allies and help you in battle. It's just a really cool mod. And I know a lot of people do play Fallout 4 without all the DLC. So for those of you who find yourself in this category, this is going to be a new mod you can download that you otherwise couldn't. So this one's kind of interesting. This is going to be called Kate as female half super mutant. What this is going to do is change Kate to be a female half super mutant. So she's going to be half human, half super mutant. When downloading this mod, there's a ton of configuration options. You could change the hairstyle, color, the body color, as well as her eye color, and just some of the different features and tattoos. I personally had the kind of most raw and gnarly looking character you could have. And I think this gives Kate a lot more depth. It makes her seem like a more proper brawler, like someone who really could pretty much take any other human or maybe even creature on in a one-on-one. -on -one. From a lore perspective, maybe it fits in, maybe it doesn't fit in. That's not really the point. From a thematic perspective, the character of Kate definitely feels appropriate with being a half super mutant. It explains why she is so good at some of the things she is good at. It's definitely not going to be for everyone, but I definitely think it's a great way of mixing things up and adding in some more diversity to many of the female human companions you do have in vanilla Fallout 4. So this is another one that's kind of hard to show in a short video. Icebreaker Settlements is more or less going to overhaul the dialogue of settlers around your settlements. If you spend a lot of time at your settlements, whether through sim settlements or just typical settlement building, you're going to find that the settlers only have a few dialogue pieces and it gets very repetitive very fast. What this mod's going to do is add in 400 new little short corpse and lines of dialogue. Some of these are just general things. Other ones are actually quest specific. Like if you become the general of the Minutemen, they'll unlock a whole new little set of dialogue where they'll kind of respect you as a result. Again, it's a pretty cool mod, but it's not really something you could show in 30 seconds to a minute of video. It's something you're going to experience over the long haul when you spend many hours in your settlements. So last but not least, we actually have a great mod that I never covered even on PC when it was released, and it was only recently ported over to Xbox One. That's going to be Fem Shepping's Wasteland Drifter Outfits. This is the male version. There also is a female version that is a separate download. Both are on PC and Xbox One. And there's just a lot of really high quality outfit mods for males. I really like this because I feel like what this mod does is it provides you with kind of a hybrid between maybe a rugged look, but at the same time, it looks like something you could casually wear as clothing. What I mean by that is basically the setting of Fallout 4 is 
an odd one. You might be seeing combat, but at the same time, you're going to be traveling and interacting with your cities and settlements. So wandering around with a full suit of very tactical armor doesn't really feel so natural. This mod's going to add in a bunch of outfits that make sense that you're going to be traveling through the desert or some of the rather dangerous terrains, but at the same time, maybe you're stopping in cities so you don't look like you're a super soldier in your armor. I honestly have no idea if that made any sense, but I really just like that style of outfit in Fallout 4, and I feel like a lot of these provide that. There are a bunch of different options here. Personally, the one I'm using right now is by far my favorite. It just has the most detailing on it. Some of them are a bit simpler, but again, I think there's going to be one in here for pretty much everyone. Maybe you want to use it yourself or put it on your companion. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I think this might be a direction I take five cool mods in in the future is that of showing you some mods that I kind of overlooked that are still high quality. Fallout 4 Mods Weekly is always very timely. I try and show you the latest stuff, but maybe in the series going forward, I'll show you some cool stuff that came out a little while ago. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Later.